Hello and welcome back to a very special episode of CEDH Playing Builds. Uh, today's deck will just simply be discussing uh, me and my uh, personal uh, take on uh, card storage and uh, deck keeping or whatever. Uh, um, where I'm just going to quickly go over how I store my cards, uh, how I keep my collection, um, some tips and tricks from my experience. Uh, uh, just a reminder, I've been playing cards for about 20 years. I've used many, many products over the years, many, many storage boxes over the years, and uh, I, I prefer some uh, over others. Uh, it's not the final say, you know, but they're, they're the products that I, I prefer from my uh, decades-long experience of uh, playing cards. And so... And we'll start things off with uh, how I uh, house uh, the deck that I, I currently play. Now, let's remember that um, my collection, uh, every single card in the collection is a singleton copy, um, with the exception of uh, basics. Uh, but even the basics are singleton copies. I have like one copy of each uh, basic. Uh, the only duplicate basics I have are um, snow. It's just the deck philosophy. If you're going to run multiple of a, of a basic, then it might as well be snow because then you could tech in like some of these uh, interesting snow things, right? Like the toxic deluge for for snowlands, uh, Arkham's astrolabe, which is is nice, right? Especially you do whole bracket combos. So, so imagine that uh, there's that terrible artifact with the imprint that doubles the land that it's imprinted on. Then your opponents could do that too. So to prevent your opponents from going plus, you would make it a snow land. So I don't own more than regular basics. Uh, I'll, I will own like two of each uh, snow, with the exception of blue, right? The islands I have uh, eight uh, Japanese foil Modern Horizon and uh, eight uh, secret layer uh, snow islands, uh, the, the old ones, the, 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 the uh, what the hell is I'll drain snow lands. Uh, let's get into the deck. So. Um, at any given time, uh, I'll I'll keep my main deck, the deck that's complete, uh, in in a um, the uh, Ultimate Guard Twin Flip and Tray 200. Um, I, I I love this product so much uh, that I own uh, 10 uh, different colors of the 200 uh, Flip and Trays. Um, it's the only product I, I I care that much about. I don't like set and towers. They're really ugly and clanky and the caps go everywhere it's just this disgusting thing uh the cards fit uh, 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 uh. i'm just imagining like people with their fingers fidgeting with stupid satin towers I, I can't stand them um and and then what happens is it's just it just houses one deck right and i know ultimate card has single deck boxes uh, but what i like about this is that um at any at any given moment uh, I can have uh, my main deck. Uh, in this case, uh, this weekend, I was running uh, uh, Malcolm Timna. And um, in the second uh, shoe, what we'll have are uh, pieces to uh, uh, another deck that I could build. Um, usually it could be like a, a two, a second, third, or even a fourth uh, a general depending on the, the shared card pool uh, in this case, because um, I was just uh, really on the go. I was the only other deck I could swap out into as a Brea deck. And, you know, there, there are plenty of resources. Maybe your memory is not so good, right? I don't know why you would have problems with a, a, a deck building in a, a game that's your, your fucking hobby, right? Like, you don't know how to build a Brea deck, bro? Like, give me a break. So... <laughs> Uh, you, there's plenty of resources, Moxfield or uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of these websites. I forgot the other ones already tapped out, right? I don't, I don't know. Uh, where you could just create an account, uh, put your deck together, and uh, so you can have a reference. Uh, pen and paper. <laughs> so it, it allows me to just, like, in between games, uh, quickly swap out to another deck. Um, not as quickly as... Um, literally physically swapping into another complete deck, but I, I find this like a waste of resources, time, money, energy, effort. Um, 
you know, a lot of times I see these people, they have like 30 complete junk decks. It's like, huh? Why? Why? Little things add up, right? Now, now I have to spend money to buy like six packs of sleeves, right? Just, just for the basics alone in, in these uh, 30, 40 complete decks that they have. Or now, uh, one deck is not as efficient as it could be because uh, my Scalding Tarn is in my other deck. It's like, bro, like, what? Huh? What? Um, another thing I see what happens, uh, my collection, everything's uniformly sleeved. It's a basic, ultra pro, light blue sleeve. This sleeve will be around uh, longer than humanity, okay? Don't get fancy and buy these very niche sleeves. I, I got examples. Uh, I have a friend who bought a very nice, very nice uh, Fate, 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 Order, Order, Fate, Fate Zero uh, sleeves where um, uh, he, he, he discarded them. For him, it's garbage. But for me, I know, I know. Um, a bunch of these, uh, what is this, uh, Fate Zero? I, I don't know, I don't know video games. Anyway, um, so we have these. They're not enough for a complete Magic deck, uh, in any format. I think there's like 15 of these and 50 of these, right? Um, but they're all, they're all split. Every single one of them is a split. So these sleeves are, are no good anymore. Um, I know what to do with them. You know, if I find a deck uh, for, for a game where I could build a 40, uh, 50 card deck, uh, then I'll just put the card uh, on the outside uh, in its own sleeve. It would be like a sleeve sandwich, right? So this, and then it will be all uh, tucked into a um, an outer. Um, we'll show an example of that uh, right now. I'm going to pause a lot for brevity. We have our Timna here. Um, so a sleeve sandwich. What do I mean? Um, now you can't you can't do an EDH deck like this. It's it's not going to happen. It's going to be a too thick. No one cares about like your paper cards in a quadruple sleeve. You know it's 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 it's, it's nonsense. It's absurd. Um, you're fi you're fine with just um, a simple inner uh, and a standard sleeve. You don't need to quadruple, uh, uh, oct octuple your uh, sleeves. But uh, for the commanders, commanders are special, right? Um, so we'll have our fancy um, anime girl sleeve. I, I like to have uh, just a regular whatever sleeve, so like it's a, a colored border. Um, and then all that sits, and the card sits in front of all that. It's not in anything. The only thing it's in is the outer, which is upside. You know, norm traditionally this outer would be facing down. Um, because this, this, this top of the sleeve and the outer, and then it creates like a seal. Um, but this is just uh, for, for um, aesthetics uh, for me. And that's your sleeve sandwich. So for those junk sleeves that are all um, split, I could reuse those sleeves, uh, no problem. If I find a, a card game with a deck that's like a 40, 50 cards, maybe I'll put together like some sort of like a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Uh, goat format or something, and bling it out. Um, that's some side project, or maybe. Um, what I do to protect um, my uh, ultra, ultimate guards from a basic uh, wear and tear uh, as best as I can, uh, I go to like a craft or hobby store, a craft store, um, and get this like vinyl paper, right? And you could take the vinyl paper and kind of just plaster it on uh, to the parts where there's a seam. Uh, and then you could just tuck it into the seam and uh, paper, like a blade or an exacto knife, uh, the access away. And if you make mistakes, if there's a, if you don't go into the seam, uh, then you can use the scraps to correct your errors. Uh, and this helps uh, tremendously, particularly the bottoms of your uh, really nice uh, deck boxes. Uh, like I said, uh, Ultimate Guard is the only brand at this point uh, in my card plane. <laughs> career uh, that I'll stick with. I don't, I don't like anything else. I don't. I've tried it all. I don't like anything else.
Um, so that's how I'll keep um, my main zac on me, right? So it'll be the main zac in one shoe, and then the second shoe will be uh, the pieces uh, for uh, another zac that I could build on the fly. There's resources to um, uh, remember your deck lists, which I don't understand why anyone would have a problem with that. There's the commander, and there's the philosophy that goes along with the commander, so you know what cards go in, into it, right? I'm, my Bray is not an aristocrat deck, so I'm not putting, uh, I'm not rifling through my collection to put those kind of pieces in the deck, because right? that's not what she does, right? Um, she's not an eight rack deck, so I'm not gonna rifle through my collection to look like remember, oh, oh, oh is this in the deck or not? Like, like come on. Um, so the collection. Uh, this, this product is a, was a Japanese import. Uh, it's from a, a company called a Broccoli. Um, so this is a Broccoli st storage case or card storage. Uh, the, I, I don't think Sonico is available anymore. This is like from 2012. Um, I, I do like these boxes. I know they have the cheap plain white uh, shoes, but uh, I like these. Uh, and I take uh, protective measures uh, to protect these things too. I'll uh, put the vinyl paper on the bottom. Uh, to protect the, the, the wear on the bottom. Um, I'll do other things like uh, the edges. Um, I'll put clear, uh, heavy duty clear tape on every single edge. Um, the inside uh, of the box, uh, just use a nice craft paper. But before I put the craft paper on, uh, every the joint is uh, reinforced with um, a strong clear tape. Uh, and same thing with all these edges. And then uh, again with the uh, vinyl craft paper on the inside of, of the box. Uh, every box will have um, these uh, silica packs to keep moisture out. You get them from your uh, shoes or clothing. Uh, sometimes I get them in um, giant silica packs in like uh, the seaweed that I order. <coughs> and, um, and again, the entire collection is uh, uniformly uh, sleeved. Uh, this particular box houses sorceries and instants. Right. Everything's uniformly sleeved. Nice little Tolarian winds. Sorceries. Right. Spring artifact. And then all the uh, commanders. Uh, commanders will be uh, all sandwiched. Again, for aesthetic purposes. i got to remember to put that in. Properly, so it doesn't get mixed up. Um, same thing with the other shoe. Now uh, you're like, oh, what if your collection gets too large? You should really should keep your collection in, in check, right? Just caching, uh, selling the things that are like dead or power corrupt cards, you know, um, and, and selling them. Use your hobby to help pay for your hobby. Um, same thing. Every edge is reinforced. We have our silica packs, uh, and we have here uh, lands, artifacts, uh, enchantments, planeswalkers, and creatures. Uh, everything is uniformly sleeved. Very, very neat. Very, very neat. Um, now, you might ask yourself, like, oh, that's, that's a lot of sleeves, especially if you're running, like, maybe 200 cards at a time. Um, I mean... I have an example of what happens when you don't um, uniformly sleeve. So let's say you, you, I don't know, you have a big collection, you're trying to do the uniform sleeve, or you only have the one set of uh, sleeves, so you're constantly uh, taking out uh, a card. Let's see what happens to a card that I can constantly take out of a sleeve, right? So what kind of things happen to the card? Can we get focused? Let's see. I have an example of what happens uh, over a long enough timeline uh, to require to keep uh, taking out, taking out, taking out of a sleeve. We have this uh, original foil goblin bombardment uh, that now the value of the card is uh, um, lost because of uh, there we go. because of that. So, 
Don't do that with your cards. Don't take the main and out of sleeves over and over and over and over and over again. And then you might ask yourself, like, uh, hey, Tuna, like, uh, what happens if my friends come over and they want to play magic? Well, I mean, my magic cards, uh, my magic friends already play. Uh, my magic friends uh, have their own decks, right? And let's be real, like, I don't want their crusty Dorito dry cum stained fingers, like, touching my cards, right? Um, and, well, what if you want to teach someone how to play magic? Like, uh, who? Your mom, right? My wife? My wife doesn't want to play magic. Let, let's ask. Hey, babe, do you want to play magic? Babe. Uh, magic, uh, Shimaska? No. Okay. So, yeah. It's not, it's not, it's, she has no interest. So, <laughs> you have the one collection. This is your own thing, you know. Um, keep, it, keep it private. Keep it out the sun. <laughs> keep it off your bookshelves, right? Keep it in a nice, safe, dark, dry place. Uh, Smoke-free, uh, prefer, prefer, preferably. Um, oh, once in a while, <clears throat> now, you know, I don't like proxies. I'm, I'm for proxies. Like, go ahead and proxy your heart out. Uh, because when I play, I want to play, like, the highest level of competition. Uh, just for me, I'm a collector, so there's no proxies. But once in a while, I will have, like, a, some a shitty photocopy um, card in my collection. Uh, really just because it's a paper stand-in for, uh, like, a commander that's either currently being played uh, uh, in, in the 99 or uh, as a the commander. Some bonus, right? Some bonus. Let's go over... What else did I want to show you guys? Same thing could be achieved. We um, have a, a much, much smaller collection. This is my pauper collection. Uh, sometimes you got to flex and uh, put the beats on a pod uh, using an all common deck. This is the same setup, right? Uh, this will have the extra pauper cards. Um, I don't care so much about. I, I might just buy another pack of uh, Ultra Pro Pinks to have, sleeve the rest. Um, but you have just the deck that's not being played. Um, but it's just a matter of uh, uh, putting in uh, extra cards, you know, just to complete it. So to complete this, the cards are in here. Um, I think this is like a total of uh, one, two, three. Uh, decks that could be played, uh, all pauper. Mm. <clears throat> the only issue with the uh, shoes for the Ultra Pros, uh, for Magic players, uh, is the outer. Uh, the outer is just a little too wide, so you have to uh, uh, slot this in this way. There's no way you could put this in that way. Uh, some people are brain dead, and they can't figure this shit out on their own. They'll jam it in, just so it's front facing. I don't I don't, I give up on humanity. So you just uh, sideload it. And the solution is a, it's all done. Problem <laughs> fixed. <laughs> so just remember that about the uh, uh, ultra, uh, Ultimate Guard um, shoes. That has to be sideloaded, not front loaded, if you have outers. Um, issues on uh, triple sleeving, right? Let's, let's talk about that really quick. You can talk about triple sleeving really quickly. Sometimes uh, you legitimately want to triple sleeve um, your uh, main deck, and you know. So here we have um, some fancy uh, mystical archive sleeves I uh, imported, all with their uh, outer. So it will be the same idea: the inner, the anime sleeve, and the outer. Or I don't know. But but what happens is um, whether you do it my way or just the proper way, inner sleeve, and, uh, oh, yeah, 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 what happens with that? You could just have, yeah, that's the simplest thing. If you have a fancy card, put an inner, and then just the old, uh, and then the regular uh, sleeve, and, 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 and you should be fine, you should be fine, no, no issues. Um, some people go the extra mile, they'll triple sleeve, right, so the inner sleeve, and maybe the outer, or they'll do uh, uh, inner, uh, fancy sleeve, and then the outer, right? Um, you have a, a deck that's just way too thick. You know, I have this ready to go, but it's obnoxiously thick and stupid. You know, I run 
checks that are tens of thousands of dollars, and and even even then I find it like too obnoxious and too thick. You you have the cards. What happens with cards like that? Right. This is what's going to happen uh, to your dumbass when you have uh, these triple sleeve decks. First of all, you can't manage them, right? So you're going to give them to your opponent to shuffle. They're going to grab the deck. And, you know, now, now you're, um, I don't know, you're, you're in the dark. Uh, Blood Moon is under a table and, and, and lost forever. And congratulations, you played yourself. So, like, it's not, it's not worth uh, doing these kind of things. Just a regular inner and a sleeve is, is suffice. Uh, the inners are so thin, that, uh, there's no cheating, right? If just your important cards are in the inners and everything else is not. Uh, I never notice a difference. I never get the same god hands every single time. It's pretty randomized, the hands that I get. Um, what else do we need to go over? Okay, I think that's that's it. That's the collection. I'm not